Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I want to walk you through how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A14 screen to your TV. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So in one method, I'm going to show you how to mirror everything that's happening on your screen. So for example, if you're playing a game or you're trying to teach someone how to use an app, you'll be able to mirror your entire screen to your TV and watch everything that's happening on the phone on the TV. That will be the first method. The second method will be how to just mirror a video. For example, if you're trying to play a video from Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, or another video streaming app, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, to do this, we're going to need a few things. So let's walk through quickly the list of things you'll need to make this work properly. Okay, so first, you will need an HDTV with an HDMI connection. Second, you will need a Google Chromecast. A Chromecast is a, is a device that's going to connect to your TV and it's going to allow your phone to be able to interact with your TV. And the third thing you'll need is Wi-Fi. You will need a Wi-Fi network to make this work properly. Now, one of the methods I'm going to show you, um, if you have a smart TV, it will work. Um, specifically, the second method I shared, which is just playing a video from your phone directly to the TV. So. That's kind of what you need. And again, when I get to each section, I will just reiterate what you'll need to make it work. We're gonna start with the method that is going to be uh, showing everything that's happening on your phone screen to the TV. So, first thing you wanna do is uh, make sure your Chromecast is plugged in and make sure your TV is switched to the correct input that your Chromecast is plugged into. Next, you're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on, this little icon here, and make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. Next, we're gonna go to the Play Store, and we're gonna download the app Google Home. Just simply type in Home in the search, and you should get this pop-up here for Google Home. Download this app, it's free, and let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so this is going to be the main screen of the Google Home app. After you walk through the settings, this is the screen that you should see. Now, I have three different Chromecast devices connected in my house, and the one I'll be using is actually at the bottom, so I'm just going to swipe up just like this. And here is the Chromecast we'll be using, and it's named DIN TV. Yours will be named according to what room you put it in, so look for the room that you have associated with your Chromecast device. I'm going to tap on DIN TV. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see this pop up here that's going to say cast my screen. Now, before I tap that button, I just want to slide the phone over because I want to show you exactly what it's going to look like on your TV so you'll know that you're doing it the right way. Let's tap on the cast my screen button here. Tap cast screen and tap start recording or casting. And just like that, give it a few seconds, then you'll see your screen show up on the TV. There we go. And now, if I hit the home button here, everything I do on the screen is going to now show up on my TV. And so again, this is great if you're trying to you know, teach someone how to use an app, for example, or maybe you're just playing a game on your phone and you want to show your gameplay. You'll be able to do that in this setting. Now, if you go into an app that supports landscape, if you rotate the phone sideways, you'll see that the TV will rotate with you. And again, this is really the best option for just trying to demonstrate step by step what you're doing on your phone. Again, great for teaching, great for playing games. Also great if you've gone on a trip and you have pictures and videos and you're trying to show them on the TV. This is a great option to use. And when you're all done with uh, mirroring your screen, you'll simply want to just swipe up, swipe to your left, go back to your Google Home app, and then you'll want to tap on Stop Mirroring. Oh, let's try again. Tap on Stop Mirroring, and that will stop it from mirroring your screen to the TV. So that's our first method. To mirror the screen, you will need to have a Chromecast. That is sort of mandatory. Um, and for those of you that might be wondering, um, this phone does not support Smart View. So uh, uh, if you have a Samsung phone that has Smart View, that means you can mirror without a Chromecast. You can actually mirror like to a smart TV, but unfortunately A14 does not have that capability. So you do have to use a Chromecast if you're trying to mirror your screen of the TV. Now. 
let's segue into our second section which is going to be how do I just play a video from my phone to the TV this would be a lot easier and you don't need a Chromecast to do uh, to do this step if you have a smart TV um, or a fire stick TV or a Roku this second option will work so let me show you what you need to do so uh, let's first find the video that we want to play on the screen. So I'm going to go to YouTube to do this. Open up the YouTube app. Make sure you're still connected to Wi-Fi. And let's go to my YouTube channel. And so I'm going to tap on this video here. Now I'm going to pause it first. And what I want you to look at is in the upper right corner of the screen, there's this little icon. This is called your cast icon. Now, when you tap on this, it will show you all of the available devices that you can send your uh, video to. So I can send it to my Samsung monitor. I can send it to my Chromecast, which is Din TV. I can even send it to my Echo Show 15 device. So these are all the available devices I can cast to. And again, just reiterating the point that you don't need a Chromecast in order to be able to mirror your screen if you have these other devices that are compatible. So again, Fire Stick, a Echo Show device, uh, smart TV. This is a smart TV slash smart monitor. And so any one of those devices I can select it and then I can mirror my entire, I can mirror um, just the video. I can send that video to the TV. So let's try it right now. I'm going to tap here. Give it a second. You should see it pop up on the screen here. And it's going to show up obviously right there. Now in this option, the video is just going to start playing and guess what, I can control the volume just by using my phone volume like this or just like that. And so what I love about this second method here is that that video is going to play and while it plays, guess what, I can go home, I can check my text messages, I can go on the internet, I can use my phone to do normal things while that video is playing from my phone. My phone just simply becomes the remote and it will control the settings for that video, but I can still use the phone uh, while that video is playing. Now, if you want to control the video, you'll need to swipe down from the top of the screen here and swipe down again and you'll see the video is gonna be showing at the top of the notification panel right here. Now I can use this little uh, dot here to fast forward the video. I can jump to a new video by using the, the, the back and forth arrows here. I can pause the video by tapping on that pause button. And when I'm all done, um, I can um, basically just tap on anywhere on that section. And I want to tap on that same Chromecast icon or that cast icon here. And by tapping that, I can just simply hit disconnect and that will stop the video from playing to the TV. So these are the two methods that um, basically are the easiest ways to mirror your phone to the TV. Obviously, first method is showing all your gameplay. Second method is just playing a video. Now that second method should work with just about any of the video streaming apps. So just keep that in mind. Hulu, um, Netflix, YouTube, just about all those apps are gonna have that cast icon and they'll allow you to play your video on the TV. Now the last thing I want to say as I end the video is this. So um, this phone really only supports sit, um, mirroring your screen to the TV wirelessly. Um, in higher end models you can buy a cable, you can connect it to the uh, charging port and you can actually use that to mirror the screen but unfortunately with this phone it won't allow you to do that. You do uh, have to utilize one of these two methods to mirror your screen to the TV, all right? The very last thing, I just wanna plug this awesome case I've been using from Otterbox. It is their React case. It's a nice, clear case, it's beautiful, but it has military-grade protection um, in terms of uh, protecting the phone from drops. So if you haven't found a case that you love yet, I would encourage you to get this one. Again, it's clear, it's simple, but it also has that uh, drop protection that's going to protect your investment. So if you like that, I'll have a link below in the description.
Um, if this video was helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Also, I'll have a link in the comment section to more uh, helpful videos on the A14. So hit go to the comment section and check out that link so you can learn more about how to use this phone and all the cool things that it does. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.